Hydration is a complex and dynamic process in which fluid is gained or lost within the body to maintain fluid homeostasis and balance. Maintaining an appropriate level of hydration, also known as being in a state of eu-hydration, has been shown to optimize sport performance by minimizing physiologic strain on the body caused by the loss of body water, commonly known as the process of dehydration. Being dehydrated negatively impacts sport performance. A level of dehydration as little as 2-3% can negatively impact performance, cognitive function, and decision making. Athletic performance is critically dependent on appropriate levels of hydration because of its role in metabolism in maximizing cardiovascular function as well as the importance of hydration, optimizing the body's ability to dissipate metabolically produced heat during exercise. Maintaining an appropriate level of hydration has been shown to enhance performance in all aspects of sports, whether or not that be a strength, power, or endurance-based sport. Additionally, other benefits of being adequately hydrated are improved mental clarity, enhanced digestion, and absorption of nutrients, improved flexibility, energy, and improved cognitive function. The easiest method to measure hydration is to simply compare your urine color with a urine color chart. An easy way to remember this is that the closer your urine resembles apple juice, hydration is less than optimal. When it is the color of lemonade, you are hydrated. Another way to assess your hydration status is simply by following your thirst. Thirst is the body's way of telling you to drink water. One may typically start to feel the sensation of thirst when there is a 1-2% body water loss. It should be noted that supplementations in certain diets may affect the urine color. And when a person is trying to rehydrate after an extreme dehydration, the sensation of thirst may be lost before the person is completely rehydrated. Although hydration is encouraged before, during, and after exercise to prevent dehydration, overdrinking beyond your body water loss could negatively impact your health too. If fluid is consumed beyond one's needs, he or she may develop a condition called extreme exercise associated hyponatremia, which can be deadly if unrecognized. Exercise associated hyponatremia occurs when there is an excess of body water relative to body sodium. There have been deaths from this condition where excess fluid consumption during or after exercise disregarding individualized sweat rate and fluid loss are commonly reported. There is no definite one-size-fits-all answer to how much fluid people should consume on a day-to-day -day basis as hydration is extremely individualized and depends on a variety of factors. The intensity of the workout, body size, and environmental conditions all affect sweat rate. The easiest way to assess individual fluid needs is to measure one sweat rate during exercise. The first step would be to take a nude body weight before you exercise. To ensure accuracy, your urine should be lightly colored to indicate that you are adequately hydrated. Being dehydrated affects your normal sweat rate. Then simply go out and exercise for an hour. However, if you are to consume any fluids during that time period, you need to record how much fluid was consumed. This will come into play later when calculating sweat rate. After exercising for an hour, you will need to take another nude body weight. Once we have both the pre-workout and post-workout weights, simply subtract the post-workout weight from the pre-workout weight to find the difference in body weight during the exercise bout. This difference in body weight equates to your sweat rate. Every 2.2 pounds lost equals a 1 liter loss of fluid. Here's an example. Here we have our athlete. Our athlete took a nude body weight before he worked out for an hour. His body weight was 150 pounds. After an hour of exercise, our athlete will then take another body weight. Astoundingly, our athlete pushed himself and now weighs in at 145 pounds. To see how much fluid our athlete needs to replace, subtract the post-workout weight from the pre-workout weight. Our athlete lost 5 pounds whilst exercising. To calculate the athlete's sweat rate, we take the weight that was lost and divide by 2.2 to calculate their sweat rate. Since our athlete exercised for an hour and with his 2.27 liters an hour sweat rate, he would need to consume 2.27 liters. Although this is an example, 
Fluid intake should be individualistic according to each person's sweat rate. If fluid was consumed and or if the individual had to urinate during exercise, the following equation can be used. For more information on hydration, please visit our website at ksi.ucon.edu or follow us on Facebook and Twitter.